You've got five years or more before you want out of your business and want to boost its value. How do you do this? I'm Jason Stahl, and we're going to find out next in the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Let's say you don't have any definite plans to leave your business soon, but would like the option in the next five or seven years. The first step would be to determine what assets you have available to allow you to have freedom while maintaining your lifestyle. Do you know what the term asset gap means? This is the difference between the value of the financial resources a shop owner needs at their exit to achieve their post-exit income goal and the value of their current financial resources, which include the net proceeds from the sale of the business. This needs to be addressed when looking down the road at a sale. Many shop owners fall into the trap of estimating the value of the business based on incomplete or inaccurate information. And most times, they overvalue the business, which can cause them to feel overly secure in their future. To properly assess your position, a business valuation should be done to get a more accurate idea of what the business is worth. Many shop owners hesitate because they know the cost of a certified value of opinion can be expensive. Yet, this is not necessary until an owner either wants to sell to a third party or needs a discounted value to sell to a child. Also, there are less expensive options, such as an appraisal from a business broker or software-generated valuations that will give you a fairly accurate assessment of what the business is worth. In our next video, we're going to discuss specific value drivers that can increase the value of your business to a third-party buyer or increase cash flow that can be used to allow your kids to purchase the business. I'm Jason Stahl from the AirPro Diagnostics Collision Garage. Thanks for watching.